What's up everyone? It's Brian from the Exact IT Solutions YouTube channel. Welcome to another video where we educate you about all the crazy things going on out there around cybersecurity and what you can do to protect yourself. So today we're going to talk about a cyber attack against a major vehicle manufacturer. Find out who it is and find out what's going on in today's content. All right, guys, so uh, major car manufacturer Toyota out of Japan has been uh, re has recently announced that they've been hit with a cyber attack uh, and they had to shut down operations. They're saying for only 24 hours, I'll be surprised. So remember to like and subscribe to our channel, please. It helps us out greatly. It helps people uh, get this content in front of them as well as helps people get educated around this stuff and what to do. So. Let's get into it real quick. Toyota suspends all ja 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 Japan factory operations after suspected cyber attack. Um, and we don't know who's behind this right now. Um, they are being very tight lipped. But some key points that we want to go over is that Toyota said it will suspend uh, Japan factory operations on Tuesday, losing around 13,000 cars out of output after a supplier of plastic parts and electronics components was hit by a suspected cyber attack. So this really wasn't an attack on Toyota, it was an attack on one of their suppliers, which we talk about all the time on this channel, how supply chains are affected, smaller businesses are, are attacked uh, because uh, they're easier targets. They're, they don't have as robust security. And as we saw here, um, that Japan and Toyota in Japan is having trouble working with this vendor, working with this supplier, um, and they basically have had to put a pause on things for a little bit. Um, no information was immediately available about who was behind the attack or motive, but there's a lot of chatter and a lot of talk about it being uh, Russian hackers or uh, attacks out of Russia. Um, they are uh, Japanese Prime Minister, Prime Minister uh, Fumio Kishida said his government would in investigate the incident and whether Russia was involved. I just find it interesting that they are kind of already throwing Russia under the bus on this. They are saying it's difficult to say whether this has anything to do with Russia before making thorough checks, but they're out here on most of the news stations like CNBC where I'm reading this from. Uh, and they're basically saying we're looking into whether it was them. Kishida announced uh, that Japan would join the United States and other countries in blocking some Russian banks from accessing the SWIFT international payment system. And he also said Japan would give Ukraine about $100 million in emergency aid. And they're thinking that that could be the reason why they decided to attack. And the whole idea here, got, uh, idea here is that um, there's a lot of hackers out there who have access to, to various networks and people don't know it. Um, this is the part of the detect uh, service that my company offers where we're constantly going out there and looking for um, threat actors that may be persistent or have access in a network. Um, and this is a thing, like you might not be under a, a visible cyber attack, but you may have hackers in your network and when these types of events, meaning um, the type of events that we're seeing in real time, in real life, on the ground in uh, Eastern Europe with Russia and Ukraine, uh, when these types of events happen and a specific target or targets like the United States, like Japan, like countries that are helping Ukraine, um, when they get targeted by cyber criminals or by a specific state sponsored, sponsored hacking group, um, what they're doing is they're saying, okay, what do we have access to? What, what networks do we have access to and where are they? Um, and this one happened to be a supplier in Japan for Toyota Motors. Um, so a, uh, a spokesperson at the supplier known as uh, Kojima Industries said it appeared to have been the victim of a cyber attack. 
Um, and the spokesperson from Toyota described it as a supplier system failure. The company does not know yet if the halt at its 14 plants in Japan, which account for about its third of its global production, will last more than a day. Now, I read something that said that they already had planned to come back up tomorrow and that they were going to use a backup communication system with this supplier. That remains to be seen. Um, I've never seen a major cyber attack uh, where a company was that prepared, where they were able to get up operations of this magnitude in that short period of time. So I will be highly surprised. Uh, maybe they'll get some of the system up, but I will be highly surprised if Toyota is able to get back to normal operations, uh, even with the supplier getting hit um, in 24 hours. That that would be it would be remarkable, but not impossible. It just depends on how well you planned on things up front. Uh, and then in the article goes on to say that some plants operated by Toyota's affiliates Hino Motors and Daihatsu are also included in the shutdown. So this affects more than Toyota. It affects uh, some of their uh, sister companies and things like that. Toyota has experienced cyber attacks in the past. Um, and they, uh, they were one of the ones that uh, pioneered the just-in-time manufacturing with parts arriving from suppliers going straight into the production line rather than being stockpiled. Um, state actors have launched cyber attacks on Japanese corporations in the past, including an attack on Sony in 2014, uh, which exposed internal data and shut down computer systems. Um, the United States blamed North Korea for the attack for Sony uh, and, um, and, and after they released the interview, a comedy about a plot to assassinate the regime's leader. Uh, and that's the North Korean regime. Uh, Toyota's production halt comes as the world's biggest automaker is already tackling supply chain disruptions around the world caused by the COVID pandemic, which has forced it and other car makers to curb output. And Toyota this month also saw some production stopped in North America due to a part shortage caused by a Canadian trucker protest. So, um, again, we don't know what the kind of attack is here. Um, it doesn't matter if they got ransomware or not. If they got in and they said they stole data or they took down systems. Now, um, I did read another article that stated um, that they rebooted some systems and when the re when they rebooted they confirmed that they had um, alerts on the computers that they had been a victim of a cyber attack now that that could mean that they got hit with ransomware it could also mean that there was just a note put on there saying that hey we've installed something or we stole data from your network and we're going to release it um, if you don't pay us so um, as you can see with these bigger companies, the more the uh, amount of information that comes out as a result of these attacks is less and less. Um, that's simply because uh, these network or, or these um, incident responders are getting smarter about how to handle these situations. Um, you, you don't even know between today's attack with Toyota. And as we saw yes, with yesterday's attack against Bridgestone, a, a similar kind of wording where they did not release too much information, didn't say they had ransomware. And if you think back just less than you know six months, a year ago, um, with Colonial Pipeline and JBS, it was immediately known that it was ransomware. Um, so you know things are changing. The way that companies react and respond to these events are changing. Um, we don't know too much information about these events. Um, we will find out over time. We will have lessons learned. But as you can see uh, with this Toyota cyber attack that happened today on March or happened yesterday, um, announced today on March 1st, 2022, um, we have Toyota who's dealing with a cyber attack after a day after Bridgestone, uh, another uh, auto industry supplier uh, was also dealing with their own cyber attack. We don't know if these are ransomware, um, but I suspect they probably are. So uh, we'll see you in the next video.